Hello again, everybody. Scott Casper, Nike Hot Seat. It's time. Let's do a takedown wrestling. We don't necessarily always break the news. Sometimes we just report it. And today, it's a pleasure. Peter Yazvak sent me a beautiful press release, well-crafted, to tell me that Mark Bauer, the longtime head coach of UNK, and I'm talking about University of Nebraska at Kearney, uh, is stepping down to become a full-time assistant professor in the kinesiology and sports sciences department and to pursue his doctorate in interdisciplinary leadership. Well, that left that head coaching spot open. But don't fear, Dalton Jensen is here. He joins us now. He's the new head coach. Dalton, congratulations. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. This is huge news. The Lopers have um, just continued to improve, continued to get stronger, even as they added you as a as a longtime assistant. Uh, but now they elevate you, recognizing your years, uh, both as a competitor and as a coach. This is a huge move for them and for you. Yeah, uh, very exciting news. I'm very fortunate, very blessed to have uh, you know, been in the right position at the right time. And, you know, to have had Coach Bauer and been able to coach with him for four years and, and I've wrestled under, with him for under two after I transferred from Iowa State. And he's just been a great role model, a great mentor for me and a, and a great friend. And, you know, he, he's given me all the skills and abilities to, to do well here. Let's talk a bit about that transfer. Um, there were some who were scratching their head at Iowa State wondering why after a successful 2010 season in the NCAAs, qualifying for that, uh, you chose to, to transfer to UNK. Why was that? What was the deciding factor? Um, not going to go into too much detail, but, you know, just I just wasn't feeling like Iowa State was the right fit for me anymore. Uh, Coach Bauer had recruited me out of high school, and I've always had a lot of respect for him and the program that um, he had created over here, and um, so after deciding to leave Iowa State, um, Coach Bauer was actually the only person that I personally reached out to and called. Um, obviously, I had a couple other schools that were calling me and, and trying to get me in the door there, but um, I was kind of focused on on Coach Bauer and UNK, and he had, you know, he had told me right then and there that as soon as you're done with your career, I'm going to hire you as a grad assistant, and you know, things just kind of escalated. It turned into head assistant to associate head, and now. And now the head coach. Isn't that, I mean, isn't that great how it worked out? Because while people were scratching their head, you knew what you wanted. And in your heart, you felt where you needed to be. And it needed to be Carney. And uh, from there, the the rest, uh, as we say, is, is up for discussion and is part of history. Uh, you're married now. Brenda, your wife, obviously very excited and very proud of you. Yeah? Yep. And, uh, you know, she's very, very involved in the community as well. She, we've been married for a little over four years and um, she's a city planner for a private engineering firm here in town. And um, she does very well for herself and, you know, kind of my sugar mama and allowed me to be able to be a wrestling coach when the, it wasn't paying as well when I was a grad assistant. But, you know, now it's a full time gig and, and I'm, I'm going to enjoy every minute of it. She's very proud of me and has been very supportive of me um, ever since we've been together. I understand that there's probably a lot more sugar mamas out there than uh, <laughs> any of us would like to admit, but wrestling and other sports like wrestling just don't always pay the best. But this elevates you a little bit uh, as the head coach. You take over the reins. Mark has not necessarily left the cupboard bare. No, indeed. You've been along the uh, for the ride, helping to steer this ship for, uh, what, four years now? Yep, four years. Four years, and and what you've done is is been able to chart the course with him. The Mark has uh, is, is gone on to say some very nice things about you. By the way, uh, there are many times he says that uh, you would ca he would catch you thinking or doing things before he was. It's like you guys have been on not just in the same book. You've been on the same page. Yeah, we've always just complimented each other very well, and you know, as soon as I graduated here. And he knew that I wanted it. He wanted me to take on that role. The previous head assistant coach um, is now the head high school coach. And so that actually transpired right after I graduated. So he brought me in as basically the head assistant, which at that time was not a full time position through our university slash. I was the grad assistant. So I was kind of absorbing both roles. And, you know, he sat down and told me, you know, I'm I'm very high energy. I, I don't think things through all the way before I do them. I just I run, I go, and I, I do things, and I get them done. And he goes, you counterbalance me very well. You're a little bit more conservative, more business-minded, and we can complement each other very well. And I, I really respected his opinion of that. Um, rather just kind of, you know, you see a lot of coaches that just want to find someone that's just like them, um, pretty much just yes men. But, you know, he, he needed to find someone that was going to counterbalance him, and I really respected that from him. 
And that's neat. Counterbalance. Wow. Still, you know, he, let's face it, a passion for coaching. You got to have that because there are ups and downs. You guys have had a tremendous amount of upside to your program. And it's not through, uh, it hasn't, I mean, let's face it. There's always pain in growth. There's always pain to the ro- on the road to success. Well, you've also developed and uh, have an amazing ability to communicate with community, administration, alumni, parents, coaches, the student athletes themselves, potential recruits. I mean, that's core and vital to your continued success, isn't it? It's very important. You know, we're very involved with our community, not, um, you know, not just with helping out with uh, certain things, but, you know, we fundraising is huge at this level and we run tons of kids tournaments, uh, camps that just bring tons and tons of people in this community. And in turn, our visitors bureau, our chamber of commerce, they're very appreciative of that. And they give back to us and they come to our duels. They support us. So, uh, having that in a, in a small town of 30,000 like this, that, you know, they really care about you guys and want to see you be successful. It's been, it's been a big part of why we've been successful. It's neat that we're able to talk to Dalton, even on the eve of wrestling beginning or getting underway at the, uh, the 2016 Olympic, uh, uh, championships down in uh, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Is there one guy in particular that you guys are rooting for? <laughs> That's right. Travel de Lagna will be competing on Saturday, August 20th. Uh, Coach Bauer is actually heading down, I believe, on the 14th, and he'll catch a, a few days of wrestling down there. So he'll be down there for about a week. So he's been to every uh, both Olympics and and been able to catch him last year at the World. Well, he qualified for World Championships, didn't get to compete because of back issues. But this will be his last go around, um, his last competition before he he takes the assistant coaching job at Ohio State. So we're very proud of him. He's been a very good. A uh, very good poster poster kid, you could say, for our program, and and you know just very proud and hope he can do the best that he can do here in Rio. Knowing Travell, I'm going to go ahead and say poster man, because uh, <laughs> he's so much bigger than everybody else. Poster man. All right, we're talking with uh, UNK's new head coach, or so it will be announced here in about a half hour at the press conference. The press release is out. Thanks to our good friend uh, Peter Yazvek at Kearney, Nebraska, and the University of Nebraska at Kearney. We're talking with uh, Dalton Jensen, the new man on the uh, on the throne, as it were. Uh, you're not willing to let the past results uh, – I mean, that's the past, right? I mean, you've got your – your, uh, your eyes set firmly on another national title. You've got uh, some very talented guys in there. Let's talk about the team that will be returning, at least the core. You've got some, uh, you've got some dangerous guys, a murderer's row, so to speak. Got some good guys in the lineup. Um, we got a returning national champ in Dustin McCauley, who, uh, you, you know, he transferred to us a couple years ago, and, you know, he went to the Olympic Training Center straight out of, straight out of high school. So he's kind of had an interesting path, but I'm glad he's with us. Actually kind of you know, had a little bit of background uh, going to Golden Eagles Wrestling Club with him back in the day. So I had a little bit of that connection there. And just to kind of see, you know, the path I've taken and the path he's taken and for us to end up together has, has been uh, pretty special, pretty neat. And just to see him, um, you know, kind of hit hit some stumbles, hit some hit some roadblocks there along his path, and then be able to go win a national title last year. And he'll be a great leader um, for our program next year. I'm looking forward to seeing what he can do. What about Keith Serber? Is he going for you at 141? Keith Serba will return at 141. He's a two-time All-American. Also, a um, you know a kid that kind of had some stumbles across his path. He you know he went to Lincoln and end up uh, just went back home and has just been sitting sitting at home helping out at his high school and helping out with the club for a couple years. And you know I kind of remembered his name and we you know we gave him a call a couple years ago and he was ready to go back to school and he'll be a junior this next year and already a two-time All-American for us. I like that. And of course, I have an affection for the big guys. Kevin Barrett looks good at heavyweight. Kevin Barrett, yep, back at it. Um, Just a a phenomenal athlete. His brother actually just was a part of the Super Bowl championship team with the Broncos this past season. And, uh, you know, that's just the kind of athlete he is. And uh, I'm very excited to see what he can do this year. He was a fourth place, uh, fourth place All American as a freshman. I've heard of the Broncos. That's a football squad. That is a football squad. Okay, very good. Out there in, uh, I believe Denver, Denver, right. Colorado. Yeah, Calvin um, at 174, talented, has potential of not only being uh, a repeat All American, but actually winning a national title. Yep, Calvin. Uh... Fourth place at 174 last year. We're flirting with the idea of cutting him down to 165. Really? It is a uh, kid's incredibly long, incredibly lean. 
And that leverage is, is just a, a huge factor. It would be even more of a factor at 165. So we're just going to kind of monitor his weight for the first semester, see how he's feeling, see if he can handle the cut. It's really, he was weighing in pretty light at nationals last year, um, weighing in underweight by a pound or two each, each weigh in. So um, he's just the kind of kid that the more he works out, the, the leaner and lighter he gets. So uh, 65 is, was definitely an option we were starting to think about uh, going into the season. So we'll just kind of see how that plays out. It's like having a bag of nails and deliver unto you the new head coach, Calvin the Hammer. That's what we call him. Uh, Zach Stodden at 184. Let's talk about it as we round out those returners from the uh, 2016 National Championship squad. Zach Stodden, very talented kid from Broomfield, Colorado. He was a freshman last year for us. Just missed out on qualifying for the Nationals tournament just by one spot. Um, probably what I would say was probably one of the toughest weight last year at 184. Um, but I'm very excited to see where he can go um, with, with this next year. Just a little bit more development, more time in the room, and and I, I think he can get there. I'm very confident in his abilities and his work ethic, and, and he's motivated to do it. We want to salute uh, Coach Bauer uh, for all that he's done for the sport, what he's continuing to do or will continue to do, uh, both uh, nationally on the collegiate level, the high school level, continuing to build wrestling, and uh, we absolutely love it. Uh, we can't salute guys like that enough because he is a great model, and he's been that for you. Who else would you like to recognize, Dalton? I've, Dalton, I've lost your sound completely. I'm not sure why. Uh, perhaps you hit the mute button. You hear me now? I can. You sound great. All right. Thank you. So yeah, who I'm, else would you like to recognize? Yeah, a lot of people to recognize. Obviously, you know, Coach Bauer is obviously at the top of the list just with how he's mentored me and, and helped grew me for this position and gotten me ready. Um, obviously, uh, Dr. Polinsky, our athletic director, has been huge in this. Uh, you know, to go hire a small-town Iowa kid at 28 years old who's never been a head coach before into a position like this that's, uh, you know, such a premier program. Uh, this kind of shows the faith and confidence that he has in me, and that's, in turn, that just gives me even the more confidence. And I, I want to do well for him. I want to do well for myself. I want to do well for this this program and this institution. Um, you know, we talked about my wife a little bit there, but, you know, obviously my parents and my brothers and just, you know, how I grew up is just, you know, kind of led me down this path and turned me into the man I am today. So I can't go without thanking those people. Dalton, I've been a fan of yours for a long, long time. You do have a difficult decision to make uh, a little later on, and that who will become your head assistant coach. Is there anything you'd like to share with us? I'm going to wait for that press release to come out next week. I will tell you I have found the right candidate for the job, and I think he's going to be a great fit. It's uh, someone I've known for a long time. Somebody um, I've so known for a long time? Someone that you've probably known for a long time, too. That's probably all I can give you. He's been a nice competitor, and he's, been a, he's got some coaching experience, and I'm real excited to what he can offer uh, UNK Lopers. Hmm. Any idea where he went to college? You want to share that with anybody? I think if I give any more tips, I think you'll probably figure it out. So we'll wait until next week. Maybe I'll have to get another call. I do believe that I've already figured it out. Okay. I'll keep it under my vest, <laughs> though, okay? Hey, listen, I really appreciate the time this morning. I know you've got a press conference to get to, but Dalton Jensen, congratulations. I've long known you, and, and i, I got to tell you, they got the right guy and uh, at the right time. You said plucking a kid from small town Iowa and putting him into a head coaching position. Don't matter where you come from. If you're good at what you do, you're good at what you do. Bottom line, Dr. Plinsky's smart. Uh, Bauer's smart. They got the right guy. Well, I appreciate that. Appreciate the kind words and I appreciate you giving me the call. Dalton Jensen, the new head coach of the Lopers and the university of Nebraska Kearney. And he's been our guest today in the Nike hot seat. We appreciate the time he spent and thank you for watching. I'm Scott Casper for Take Down Media.